Hello and welcome to the MBS show, episode number 345. I mean 355. I'm your host, Norman Sanzo. And hey there, guys. Welcome to another weekly episode of the MBS show news. Woo! So, um, in today's episode, um, solo again. Couldn't find anyone. Plus, the new format is kind of topsy turvy with the whole webcam thing and whatnot. Like, you can see me and the screen. Woo! So, um, let's get right into it. And start out, <laughs> and starting off with the news. Uh, My Little Pony miniature figures confirm or coming t- from Wiz Kids. So if you guys got no idea what these are, I'll just read the blurb that Sephisto wrote down. Um, Hasbro has teamed up with the miniatures company Wiz Kid for a new line of figure for three of their biggest brands, including ponies. So what this is is how do I put this? Um, little miniature figures that you see used in D and D Pathfinder and so on. Um, here is an example of their thing. Uh, I chose Magic the Gathering because I play Magic the Gathering, and these are some of the figures that are there. Uh, usually. With kids, they do monsters and whatnot because, well, monsters and warriors and elves and whatnot, like whatever you can think of in D and D, they're there. But for Magic the Gathering, you have tokens. So what they do here is that they created um, token creatures, like um, miniature figures of token creatures and so on. So you got a zombie. You got a. I think that's a. Bear, I think, and so on, and you can see here that what they've done is they three D sculpt the thing in Maya or whatever three D applications out there, and they just put it here for examples of what the product might look like once it's done. And there are a few good models that they do. I mean, I'm just looking at is that. Hmm, not sure what it is, but uh, they do a lot of good models besides magic. Um, if I were to go and check what other products that they do, is that they also do collectible miniature figures. This is the one that I'm not hundred percent sure of. What I do know is that they do collectible or pre-painted miniatures. Um, usually, let's take this one for example. And here you go. This is what they. Could have looked like, huh? You know, but still, they're really cool. And if you're playing the um, My Little Pony storytelling game, the one from River Horse, so you can get those to tell your story and whatnot. It's a really fun game too. So it's better than the blind bags. <laughs> so we'll see. Uh, if you're not into the ponies in terms of tabletop gaming, you can also use the Transformers or GI Joe. I got no idea what GI Joe's doing. I know Transformers has a card game, but I doubt that they're gonna use the figures in their card game. Probably, who knows? So anyway, let's head on to the next news, and yay! Twilight Sparkle pops out rainbow wings. What? So this one is a bit confusing for me because how do I put this? I know this is a toy. I seen the commercial for it, and from what I saw and read, uh, I have to do a bit of correction from last week from what I said. Um, the Rainbow Road Trip special that was not the EQG special thing. No, no, no. This one is its own thing, and judging from the Rainbow Wings thing here, it's showing the movie style Twilight. And there's a big difference between um, show Twilight and movie Twilight, and that is the animation style. The animation style in the show is done via Flash 
um, Adobe Flash or so on and the one that's done in the movie is use uh, they're using Toon Boom so two different applications here but uh, what I see here is that the Ro Rainbow Road Trip Special this one is going to be its own thing and I didn't really report on this the last week I recorded because um, <clears throat> it's kind of a toy and whatnot but I think I should have mentioned something or look at it so from what this one is um, the show synopsis for the rainbow road trip is when Twilight Sparkle and her friends arrive in Hope Hollows they find the town and all its residents completely devoid of colors their dream vacation is starting to feel more like a nightmare the main six will have to solve the mystery behind this wash out world if they hope to bring the rainbow back to the rainbow festival and color back to the lives of new friends of their new friends so yay new movie content i guess so that's awesome uh, this one here is just a snippet of the what you call this special and technically not the full thing so i can't really give a full opinion on how twilight rainbow wing is but in all honesty eh, we've gotten through rainbow powers this one is just an addition maybe this is rainbow powers a movie version who knows so let's head on to the next news and guess what season 9 is coming in april uh discovery family did this whole thing about ooh what's coming soon with the eyes and thing on their um social media as whatnot i didn't really want to touch upon it because it's kind of meh and i'm glad i didn't because well is this the season finale for my little pony is going to be in april the trailers that they shown here are pretty gas and i don't know what to say there's a lot of things going on and how do i even put this in words um there is a lot of things going on if you don't want to get spoiled don't look at the trailers and I here too will limit f my description of said trailers. It's just amazing. Like, he came back. Ooh. Um, it does break the canon of the book a bit. But hey, doesn't really matter. Whatever the series says goes. And we'll have to see. There's more. I, I do hope that... We get to see more of certain background characters, more of um, returning guests and whatnot. Since this is the final, <laughs> sorry, uh, since this is the final episode for uh, the final season, go big, go big, like just throw everything at it, like all the money, throw at it. Call in all of your previous guests. Where Al, uh, Lena Hall, um, uh, William Shatner, and so on. Like, there's a lot of people that i do remember so call them back call them back and yeah what silver said was true um usually the show comes out in april and it seems that is true and talking about calling people back this one is not really kind of a big spoiler surprise Patton oswald he's coming back and the thing is we've seen him tweet about it in his Twitter or something like that, like he's recording something pony and it involves his wife or something like that. That was way back when. But this is kind of a confirmation. Yes, he's doing more. And he got interviewed by uh, the Providence Journal or something like that. Uh, I, I'm terrible at reading. But anywho, what he said is, when it comes to acting, I'll be on the next season of uh, Veronica Mars. I got a lot of voice over coming up 
for My Little Pony and The Secret Life of Pets 2. So that means he's going to be back um, as Clutter. No, he's not Clutter Skip. What was his name again? Oh boy. Uh, pony, pony, pony. Something, something, something. I, I don't remember. Like, you, you guys remember. Um, put it in the description below. Uh, probably I'll. You know what? I, I won't be looking at the wiki for his name. I, like, tell me in the comments below. That will help me out. So, yeah. It will, we'll get him back. So that's gonna be awesome. I do wonder what is he going to play or what role is he going to do in the future. We get the whole daring do is real thing, and he kind of knows about it too. But that's kind of a meh situation. So since his wife is going to be on, I heard probably I'm not hundred percent sure. So what kind of story? There's so many things that could happen. I, I can't wait. I personally can't wait. Um, season 9, from what the crew says, is going to be a blast. And I'm sad that it's going to end. Like, season 9 being the end? Oh, man. Like, there's so much potential. But with all good things, it must come to an end. It did, They did that with the... Friends Forever series and could you just imagine if that one the whole combination of characters you could join in uh, what they did Sakura and Spike they did uh, the CMC of Discord and they there, there's more there's more including what now you have the pillars on like you, you they could have done a lot but they needed to end it and end it they did so yeah it's kind of it kind of sucks, but hey, um, all good things need to come to an end. So that's the news for this week. And well, let's head on to the next topic. What have I been doing with my week? And you know, honestly, there's nothing much really. Uh, no movie going, no whatever it is that happened. Um, bought magic. <laughs> oh gosh, I bought magic. Okay, um. I hmm. Give me a second to check out the pricing. Um, sorry for the delay and the derpness, but um, the, give me a second, folks. So okay, <clears throat> I bought um, a box of magic called Battleborn. Uh, it cost me around 342 ringgit and convert that to American dollars that would be 83 let's just say 84 dollars so my goal is to see how much I could get back opening the whole box and lo and behold I got myself a hundred and $93 so convert that to Malaysian ringgit is going to be 786 ringgit I say I I I, <laughs> I have to say I got I got back my money it's worth so yay now I just need to sell those cards and get my money <laughs> so um, that was magic this week other than that um, nothing much, uh, no movies, no, oh, games, 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 games. I love the camera for this kind of situation. I'm playing this again, um, oh, let's see, yes, oh, no, the glare, oh, that's terrible. But anyway, I'm, I am replaying the Last of Us remastered on the PlayStation 4. Um, saw a let's play of the game by two best friends play and I thought hey it's been a while since I played the game so why not replay it and oh wow um, that game is what let's see uh, how old were you this bonus thingy they gave me was 2016 was it something sorry um, 2016 then you have the original version on the PlayStation 3. Let's say it's a while. But anywho, um, 
I bought the game, I finished it on the PlayStation 3, and started replaying it on the PlayStation 4 recently. And it's not bad, like, it is a fun game. Uh, replaying it again reminds me of, oh wow, this game is a lot of fun, I am enjoying myself. And other than that, I, I hmm, how do I put this? I am enjoying myself, like, I should be playing other games out there, like, there is a lot of games out there. Like the Apex of Legends and the Anthem. But in all honesty, I won't be playing them. Uh, I'll just probably stick with my Overwatch and Street Fighters. And ooh, uh, next week when the show comes out, or when I'll be recording the next one, uh, what, episode number 355, Devil May Cry 5 will come out. Hmm. 355, Devil May Cry 5. It's a sign. <laughs> but anywho, um, I'll try and do more next week. Like, Let's see. Like, I'll try and do exciting things. Like probably eat some burger. <laughs> oh, boys. I, I got no idea. My, my week is getting more boring and boring by the minute. But anywho, if you have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at dmbshowgmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at the MBS Show. And my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. You can also subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date. And Stitcher Radio. And also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PonyVLive.com. Links are in the show notes. Also do subscribe to the Review and Discussion podcast on iTunes and Stitcher Radio. Over there, you'll catch me, Silver Quill, Zephyr Heart Song, and also Torterra reviewing the Pony episodes, comics, movies, and also other media. Some of the other media that we like to talk about is America's Ladybug. That has been a blast to talk about, especially when it gets Silver crazy or going mad. And anyways... Little Witch seems to be a very popular one. And you know what? I- I'm going to do more than those things. Like, movies. Oh, man, I love the movies. Like, talking about movie was fun. And the last time when we did that, oh, man, it was Kung Pao, Enter the Fist. Oh, no, it's not Enter the Fist. Kung Pao, um, Enter the Fist? I don't know. I don't remember. But that was a lot of fun. Seriously, that was a lot of fun to talk about. Uh, so... Who knows? Uh, probably future will do more. Do more with laughter. Yes. So if you'd like to support the show, you can also catch us on the Patreons. Or you can do so at patreon.com slash the MBS show. With every support, you'll get a week's early access to review and discussion podcasts. That is a biggie. Exclusive and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. Talking about the thank yous, I would like to thank Amy, Lucky Knight, Tristan, Starstream, Jeffrey, and also Master of Black. Thank you so much, guys. You're great. And here's the thing about the Patreons. We post the review and discussion podcast early so you guys could take a listen to it one week earlier than the YouTubes. But also, there's exclusives where said episode or said well yeah said episode is not heavily edited for YouTube so you'll get to hear more content like I think the last one we did had 5 minutes worth of exclusives so if you would like to really listen to stuff like before we start the recording check it out there it, it was really it's really a lot of fun like the patrons get to hear a different side of silver and how annoying he can really be and so on uh, but anywho yes um do go to the patreon to support us if you would like to but anywho i have been norman sanzo and i'll catch you guys next week with another fun episode of the mbs show see ya